I want to tell you a quick story about someone who did something unreasonable and impossible, and you can do the same with your brand. A guy named Daryl Davis. He's a blues musician, and he's at a bar, and he's playing, and a guy walks up to him after his set, and the guy says, wow, I haven't heard a black guy play like Jerry Lee Lewis before in my life. That was amazing. And Daryl laughed a little bit, took the compliment and said, well, Jerry Lee Lewis was influenced by the likes of Little Richard, et cetera, et cetera. And this guy had no clue. So that turned into a drink at the bar. They were having a conversation and the guy reveals to Daryl that it's the first time that he's ever had a drink with a black guy. Daryl laughed at that, said, well, he's had hundreds of drinks with white guys. Like, what is going on here? So he asked him, like, you know, why? And he said, well, I'm a card member of the KKK. <laughs> and Daryl laughs again. And he says, like, no way. And he produced the card. And Daryl looked at the symbol on the card and knew right away it was no longer a joke. He couldn't believe it. He's connecting with this guy over music, and the guy's super friendly. So he thought to himself, how come this guy hates me and he doesn't even really know me? And that turned into a real inquiry for him. He took this inquiry and he ran with it and he started having conversations with other clan members and clan leaders and these conversations uh, led to more conversations and eventually he talked 200 clansmen into turning in their robes. He has a collection of them at his home. That is impossible. That is absolutely unreasonable. But there's something that this guy did that you can learn from, which is that he did his homework when he had these conversations. So think about it. His target audience here hated him. They wanted nothing to do with him. They were happy enough to not have a conversation with him. They weren't looking for change. Your target audience might be the opposite. Maybe they're aching for change. Maybe they'd love to hear from you. So the odds are really stacked against Daryl. But he climbed this mountain because he did one thing. He did his homework. He respected these people enough to really want to understand them. He knew the clan better than the clansmen themselves. This got a meeting full of skepticism, turned into a second meeting, turned into who knows, maybe a third and a fourth meeting. And eventually he was able to rewire how these guys thought. You can do the same thing with your audience. You can use your knowledge and your understanding of what they're going through to help get from one meeting to the next meeting and then eventually maybe they'll take action with you. So I hope this helps.